force is strong with these ones. I am here on a mission of my own. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Star Wars video game characters. I have a really bad feeling about this. From the franchise's early days to its most recent history, we'll be glancing at the characters that have most impressed, engaged, and entertained us in Star Wars video games. You should have brought the Wookiee's Albar, despite the smell. As the title suggests, our focus is primarily on Star Wars characters who originated in or got their spotlight in gaming with much respect to all the iconic folks from the core films and expanded universe. Be ready for a quick pickup. I've got a feeling that things are about to get pretty nasty around here. Number 10, Jan Ors. Star Wars Dark Forces series. Jan, what a pleasant surprise. What would you do without me, Kyle? An ordinary pilot, this is not. Jan, a longtime spy for the Rebel Alliance, eventually came into her own as a full-fledged field operative. So much for the relaxing chat. While her friend and ally Kyle Katarn conducts his missions on the ground, she keeps the engines hot on their ship, the Moldy Crow. Over time, her dedication to the mission, her loyalty to Katarn, and her steadfast courage have made her an endearing presence in the franchise. The Valley of the Jedi? Reborn? Number 9. Mission Vow. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. I told you to leave me alone, so give me some space, bug eye. The streets are tough for a kid, so pure idealism is appreciated. You ever use the Force just for fun? You know, a little jolt of the Force to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? Meet Mission Val, a young Twi'lek living in poverty on the city planet of Taurus. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. Mission's existence has been one of hardship and strife, She's never known her parents, her older brother Griff deserted her, and her only friend is a Wookiee in exile. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. Fortunately, Mission maintains an upbeat attitude. Even in the face of violence and turmoil, she never loses hope. But don't worry. I've come across them before. I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. Number 8. Jarek. Star Wars Jedi Knight, Dark Forces 2. I'm sure you haven't forgotten. I was the one who murdered your father. Treachery knows no bounds. Take this ex-Jedi Master, for example. When the evil Galactic Empire came knocking with the choice of death or serving them, Jarek eagerly joined their ranks as an Imperial Inquisitor. A pity. Then you will die. He quickly assembled a unit of dark Jedi disciples, cultivating a reputation for being both ruthless in his pursuits and obsessed with knowledge. Excellent! 8088. The Valley of the Jedi will soon be mine. It makes sense, then, that his endgame is to conquer the ancient Valley of the Jedi and take its wellspring of power for himself, and that he would go to extreme means to achieve this goal. I have no further use for you, old oh, man. Number 7. Sev, Star Wars Republic Commando. Don't worry. I saved some targets for you guys. Just another clone trooper, or something more? We feel it's the latter with regards to RC-1207, better known as Sev. Just point me at the enemy and stay out of my way. Got the chatter, Sev. This elite sniper is one of four members of Delta Squad, a commando unit cloned from the legendary bounty hunter Jango Fett. And 07, the fiercest hunter of all your brothers. You are each a piece of a whole person. Sev distinguishes himself from his fellow clones through his temperament. He is quick to anger and even quicker to take the violent solution to any problem. Grenade. And that's to say nothing of his hatred of the bug-like Geonosians. Yikes. That means we get to kill some more bugs, right? Will you look at this place? Number 6. Star Killer. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Whether hero or villain, this guy has our attention and our sympathies. It's a trick. He's stronger than you know, and he deserves to die for what he's done to me. Galen Marek was just a boy when his father, a Jedi Knight, was killed before his very eyes by Darth Vader. You killed my master years ago. Then now you will share his fate. Taken in by the Sith Lord, Merrick was granted the codename Starkiller and trained for 15 years to be the ultimate assassin. I need backup here. Initially sent to kill Jedi, Starkiller soon found himself drawn into a more altruistic path, which, based on player choice, can either end in noble sacrifice or a fate worse than death. But either way, he technically gave birth to the Rebel Alliance, so how about that? Then at last, 
The Rebel Alliance is born. Number five, Bastilla Shan, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Why must you make this so difficult for me? Can't you just accept a simple compliment? Appearances can be quite deceiving. Such is the case with Bastilla Shan, a Padawan learner with equal helpings of loyalty and arrogance. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Her old-fashioned dedication to the Jedi Code may seem like blind obedience, but as events progress, it becomes clear that Bastilla is not blind to the failings of the Jedi. They speak of the dark side as if it is something to be feared, but in reality their only goal is to manipulate those who are strong in the Force. She carries more than a little emotional baggage, feelings of repression and resentment being the most prominent, making her later shift of loyalties all the more interesting. Shut up, old man. Your time is over. The age of the Jedi in the Republic is no more. On top of that, her use of the twin-bladed lightsaber is something to be admired. Time to rumble! The Force fights with me! Number four, Dash Rendar. Star Wars, Shadows of the Empire. This is Dash Rendar. Tell the princess I've got that shipment of assault blasters she's been waiting for. There's a reason why classic archetypes still work, and Dash Rendar underlines it. Sure, Luke. I'll just plant a few pulse bombs and blow this foul-smelling place sky high. A former Imperial officer turned smuggler by a family tragedy, Dash serves as the self-centered equivalent of Han Solo, while also balancing nobility and self-interest. Han Solo told me that Imperial walkers have been spotted on the East Ridge. I'm gonna jump into a speeder and help Rogue Group slow them down. Despite working for the Rebel Alliance and engaging with their battles, Rendar's greatest concerns are getting paid and living to see tomorrow. Well, as much fun as that was, I don't see us joining the ranks of that crazy rebellion. Too dangerous and too much money to be made elsewhere, my friend. While he'll sneak around canyons and battle assassin droids for the right amount, Dash isn't above making a quick exit. Though, he does have a point about martyrs. Besides, it's good to be remembered as a martyr without actually having to be dead, wouldn't you say? Number three, Revan. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. A charismatic extremist with a twist. What's not to find interesting? You are Darth Revan. The self-appointed Sith Lord started out as a Jedi with a dream, to rid the galaxy of the invading Mandalorian armies. You will be known as the saviors of the Republic. Upon achieving victory in the Mandalorian Wars, though, Revan shifted from galaxy-renowned hero to power-mongering conqueror, leading an army of fallen Jedi and rogue soldiers against the galaxy. All hail the return of Darth Revan, the true Lord of the Sith. Unfortunately for Revan, an unexpected betrayal left him without his memory, right in time for the player to make him into an upstanding savior or an unrepentant monster. <laughs> Number two, HK-47, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Interjection, silence meatbags. Meatbags beware, this droid's armed and dangerous. I just don't like organic meatbags. Except for the master, of course. HK-47 began his existence as an assassin built by Darth Revan, carrying out secretive missions during the Mandalorian Wars. Can I kill him now, master? I would like ever so much to crush his neck. Even after losing his master and suffering a loss of his memory himself, HK remained a devious and utterly sociopathic machine. I still would like to crush his neck, master. The joy that HK-47 gets from killing organic beings and committing acts of violence is matched only by his willingness to troll people with his iconic catchphrase. We'd complain, but he's just so entertaining. Strictly speaking, one meat bag is the same as another. Anything I do is in support of my master. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. How many pilots have you lost before me? Seven. Excellent. Coordinates for Nashadar are locked. Prepare for light speed. Excellent work, Alpha One. Primary objectives completed. Well done, Tavion. Secure her in the cargo hold and prepare her for processing. Now, let's talk about these assassin droids. Uh, okay. Number one, Kyle Katarn, Star Wars Dark Forces series. This could be interesting. All right, I'm in. Soldier, mercenary, Jedi, and all-around cool guy. That's Kyle Katarn in a nutshell, a man who's worn more than a few hats in his time. The dark side, I've been there. Initially an officer of the Galactic Empire, Kyle left upon learning his so-called allies killed his father, 
embarking on a series of adventures that have pushed him from pragmatic heroism to genuine interest in doing good. Use it well. Use it for good. He has the distinct honor of guarding the Valley of the Jedi, battling the Empire on a regular basis, and standing out amongst the finest teachers in the new Jedi Order. Master Katarn, it's an honor to be serving under you. First off, just call me Kyle. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite character from a Star Wars game? For more awesome top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Do not wait too long to contact me.